What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today for another Mutt 18 video. Got a quick video for you tonight. Little Sunday night upload. I do thank you guys for checking out the video. All the new subscribers that we've gained over the last couple days. Appreciate you for subscribing. Click that thumbs up. Show some support for the channel. So let's get into the content. So a couple days ago, we talked about a coin making method, and that's probably what brought some of you to the channel, and that was in the form of the pull a player, pick a player, whatever it was called, get a player packs that cost 500 coins. And it was something that was very, very lucrative at the point that I made that video, but it's been nerfed just a little bit. Uh, so Friday night, they made a change to the team token silver sets. They made it a wild card situation, so that really nerfed and killed the value of some of the silver cards that we were able to make a lot of profit off. There were teams like the Cowboys, the Raiders, you know, their silver cards would sell for 1,000 to 2,000, and with that get a player pack, you're spending 500 coins, you're selling it for 1,000, you're making small profits, um, but the returns came quick. Cards were selling very, very fast. And with that wild card set added, you know, it, it kind of hurt the market and it hurt that that technique, that method of making coins. Now, I'm here to say that it still kind of works. You can still do it and I do it as well, but that's not the main point of the video, but I do just want to point that out. We're going to go ahead and open up some more of the packs because basically, I mean, you're still spending 500 for that card. Basically what I do, and we'll jump right on over to it, is I go ahead and I sell those cards right away blindly for 600 coins. And uh, what that does is once they sell, and they are selling, you saw it, um, you get 540 coins out of that. So you're making 40 coins every pack that you open. Big deal, right? I know it's not a huge gain, and that's not really what I'm trying to get here. Um, but number one, you still get the chance at pulling gold cards. If you pull a 75 to 79 overall gold card, those things are selling for one, two, three, four thousand, depending on the team. So there's definitely a chance to make some profit there. Now this, you know, it's gonna get tedious, it can get boring, but I just suggest loading up your auction house. Now these aren't selling right away. It usually takes almost the full length of the auction um, for them to sell, but people are still paying 600 coins for these cards. Um, so you're still making a little bit of profit, but again, that's not what I'm trying to get over here. You can still pull elite cards. I pulled an elite Mike Wallace the other night, made a good 15K profit. Uh, but every time you do these get a player packs, and again, you're not losing any coins by doing it. You're you're increasing your, your pack count, and that's going to help you reach legendary status. For all of you guys who have enrolled into Mutt Rewards, it's called Madden Rewards now. Uh, legendary status, if you're unfamiliar with it, you're going to get free packs throughout the year that are usually going to be very, very good. You got a chance to get yourself a copy of Madden next year, possibly. I mean, they've done it three years in a row. I don't see why they would stop. Um, but Mutt Rewards, a.k.a. Madden Rewards this year, is really, uh, you know, something that you want to be in Legendary as soon as possible. And as you can see, guys, I've already opened 700 and something packs. I'm almost Legendary. I'll probably be there within the next couple days. I haven't spent any money on packs. So for those of you who are going, no money spent. For those of you that are not planning to spend a lot of money on this game, like myself, you're going to be able to reach legendary status very, very easily. You're going to get bonus packs. You can do this on farm accounts as well, to where you'll get other packs on those accounts as well. And it's just really a good, clean method, a very, very quick way to get to legendary status. Who knows when they first start giving out rewards? It could be very soon. And hey, look at this. We get a gold card on the third pack. I told you. Now, this one probably won't sell for much. I think 70 to 74 or whatever that range is. Uh, gold cards for the the Browns don't sell for much maybe 800 so I'm not making a ton off of this but you got those chances to where you're going to pull 75 up goals you might pull some elites and every silver card that you pull you're gonna make 40 coins back on it over time you fill up your auction house you do this for 20 cards even if you get 20 silvers you sell them all I mean you're talking about maybe a 10k profit it's gonna take about an hour for that to happen so do it when you're on your way out the door to go wherever 
uh, do it before bed just do it as much as you can it's gonna increase your pack count it's gonna get you to a legendary status really really quick and you're still gonna make some coins in the meantime hopefully this tip was helpful I do thank you for watching this late night video we'll be back soon definitely gameplay coming up we're gonna have that spending spree video once we get to 500k we're gonna build our team and start dropping gameplays this week peace